Hey Vikes, I'm here with Jade Esman and she's In today's show, we'll have a stand-up about the fall play. Hey, I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Caitlin. And this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Brooklyn, are you going to the play? I was thinking about it. Let's go to Emory to find out more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Jade Esman and she's going to talk to us about the fall play, The Beverly Hillbillies. So what's it about? It's about this family, the Clampets, who are originally from Missouri, but they find a bunch of oil on their land and they move to Beverly Hills where they get this mansion and they have no clue what to do with it because all they've known is their little cabin. Why should people come? Because the fall play is always a great time. It's supporting the school and the theater department, which is a pretty large program in our school. Is there anything else you'd like to add? We are selling tickets at lunch, and if you buy a ticket, you get a cookie as well. All right, thanks, Jade. Now back to your anchors. I might have to go see it. Me too. Now over to Brooklyn with the announcements. The Seaman Fall Play, The Beverly Hillbillies, will be today, Friday, and Saturday, November 14th through 16th, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tickets will be $5. They are available to purchase during lunch. Winter sports begin Monday, November 18th. You must have your physical and concussion form on file before you can try out or practice. If you're unsure if you have it turned in, please stop by athletic office. The letter jacket man will be here Tuesday, November 19th, during lunch. He will be set up in the comments to take orders. If you have your letter, bring it with you. Please make sure you are parked in your assigned spot unless you have talked to Officer McKay about parking elsewhere. Also, if you have not purchased a parking pass already, come see Officer McKay to purchase a parking stall and avoid a potential fine. The athletic trainer needs all equipment back. All crutches, boots, wraps, and braces, or anything else that was loaned out needs to be returned by next week. Please return to the athletic training room in the North Gym or left in the athletic office. Seaman High School's broadcast news station needs your help. Click on the link below and subscribe to our SVTV YouTube channel to help reach 1,000 subscribers. Now over to Chase with the weather. I'm going to listen to the story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. Stop acting rowdy and rambunctious, you rapscallions. Pay attention to the play. Bye. Be a Viking. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and as many of you know, I love parkour. So much so that I've been trying to spread the knowledge of vitamins to everyone. But recently, I've hit a wall in my parkour experience. That was until I started training under a furry master, the GOAT. And today I'm here to introduce to all of you the power of the GOAT. The GOATs also make sure everyone hears them when they're about to do their parkour by bang. But instead, I do... Every day they do many laps and run a whole bunch up and down stairs. You know, they also have the magical technique of the random jump. Sometimes they'll be standing somewhere and just jump and it's crazy. The GOATs also use masterful techniques of nibbling on random objects. It's actually pretty good. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later.
Good afternoon, Vikes. It's a lovely Thursday today, and Josh is going to be gone for the remainder of the week, so I'll be taking over the weather for today. Now, let's get on to the weather. So, it's going to be roughly about 40s uh, in the 40s today, and that'll start cooling down tonight and get actually below freezing uh, at 10 o'clock. It's going to be 28 degrees out, so you best be watching out for that. Now, looking over at this weekend's forecast, it's going to get uh, some light showers in the Topeka area, and that's going to start roughly around 4 to 5 o'clock, and then that will end at around 9, 9.30, uh, those light rains, so be on the watch for that. Now, it's been a pretty boring weather cycle lately, so instead of looking at the future, I decided, let's go look at the past. And uh, for November 14th, which is today, in the Topeka area, the highest it's ever been is 77 degrees, and that was set in 1897. Now that's compared to the low, which was 6 degrees in 1940. Now I don't know about you, but I'm definitely glad it's not 6 degrees outside right now. Now for your SVTV early Thanksgiving forecast, it's a little early to be predicting much, but we can tell it's going to be roughly 43 degrees degrees outside. So if you're planning on going out of town for the uh, holidays, it's best to bring a jacket to keep those chills at bay. Now, the Beverly Hillbillies uh, play tonight is of course tonight, Friday night, and Saturday night from 7 to 9. So it's going to feel about 34 degrees tonight, 39 tomorrow, and getting the, down to 37 on Saturday. Now, today in history, Prince Charles turned 71 degrees. If you don't know who he is, he's the heir to the English throne. Now, it's National Family PJ Day, so that means if you're hanging out with your family, you know, you might just want to have a pajama party when you get home, if that interests you for any reason. Now, for our seven-day forecast, it's looking like it's going to be roughly around in the 50s through the midweek and getting all the way to breaking 60 degrees, actually, on Monday and then start to warm up throughout the end of the week. So, Brooklyn and Caitlin, back to you. That's all we've got for you today. Make sure you go see the play, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day, bikes.